Hey, what's up, everybody? Video 44 coming at you in another video. All right, so I figured I'd do a Laker chat video because we got some updates on the injury uh, news for this upcoming game against the Suns tonight. And, of course, it's a lot, man. It's a lot. Just like I told you this morning, it was a lot. It grew even more so. Okay, so Devin Booger, Braun, AD, Reeves, all out. We're certain of that. Patrick Beverly may play. Not sure. Questionable. Aiden, questionable. Winion Gabriel playing. Thank God. We've been waiting on this for three weeks. This dude has been out. We haven't really seen our full spectrum of players. But the problem that we're having here is the fact that we got guys coming in and out of the lineup. So it's like, okay, Winion comes back when all of those guys are coming out. It's like, how in the world are we going to get our continuity going and get guys to slide into the roles they're supposed to have when those roles continue to change every couple of games because of guys missing games so i'm frustrated as i'm sure everybody else is no one more so frustrated than coach trying to put together a, a game plan but you can look at this game as a uh game that that you know it's it's both teams depleting their roster and so whoever wins both teams are just like whatever it's almost like when when it's it, it, it's it's both teams dumbing it down basically it's like okay I'm going to remove my stars. You're going to remove your stars. So it matters just the same to us that we win or lose, but we're evening up the score so we can rest our players for the greater good. So it's like as long as you agree to sit your guys, we'll agree to sit our guys, and we'll just send our our second and third units out there to try to get better, and we'll just agree to make that the case, and we'll uh, run that out there for the fans to enjoy. And so my thing is I'm – I'm a diehard enough fan to where I am invested in these other players. I want to see a lot of Lonnie Walker. I want to see a lot of Max Christie. I'm hoping that this means Scottie Pippen can get like 18 to 19 minutes. This is something I want to see. <clears throat> and for the average fan, I'm pretty sure that's like, what the hell are we doing here? Um, that's pretty much the, the, the thought there. I think when you really consider what Max has been doing, rebounding and the three ball, three ball is starting to fall. You just want to see him get as much run as possible. Him, Winion, Gabriel, they're excellent 50-50 ball players. Now, I wish Austin could play in this game because it's another one of those games where a guy like Austin Reeves would have the ball in his hands to do more of what it is that he does, uh, have more plays run for him. So for him to miss this game is rough, but we know uh, if he could play, he would play. And the reality is this is a back-to-back, -back and you rolled your ankle last night. So there's absolutely no, no logic in playing him in this game. <laughs> so... <clears throat> we're going to sit him. And, of course, Braun's sitting tonight. I would have loved to have Braun out there tonight, too, because he was the player that I was hoping would be able to really take advantage of some of the weaknesses of this roster that the Suns are running out there. But we won't have that. So it's really us evening up the score. We're, we're lacking continuity out there. It's going to be on guys like Dennis Schroeder, <clears throat> um, Lonnie Walker. I'm trying to figure out who would play make in this situation, but it would be upon those guys. Hopefully, we can get Scotty on the floor. That would that would be a guy who, who you were looking to make others, you know, better and get guys in their spots. So that's what I want to see, man. I want to see more Max Christie. I want to see more Lonnie, the young guys, get some opportunities tonight. Obviously, we're going to run Dennis out there because he's probably going to be the more talented, most talented guy we can run besides Westbrook. And Westbrook will be out there as well. I think it probably benefits us to rest him too but you know he's good to go so he'll be ready uh so that's pretty much what it is man it'll be it'll be a game where Westbrook can definitely take advantage hopefully his athleticism and he'll get the calls diving down the, the paint and, and and hopefully they'll whistle it for him because that's ultimately what ends up getting in our way it's it's not being able to get back on in transition once that doesn't work out for us so hopefully the Lakers can understand the importance of trying to connect on everything not letting the referees blow the whistle uh, least of all against the Phoenix Suns, you know how it is when we go into this building. So <clears throat> that's what I'm looking at, man. Uh, Thomas Bryant is obviously some obviously someone we're going to lean on a lot tonight. So it's, it's on Dennis Schroeder and those playmakers, whoever they're going to be, to get him the ball uh, and, and see to it that we continue to, to ride the hot hand. If he's hitting that corner three point shot, it fell last night. Maybe it'll fall on the road. I don't know, but I don't want to fall in love with the three three point discipline. Is still important for us. Attacking in the paint is our M.O., and we need to continue to do that no matter who is running for us. So that's where my head is. Um, of course, Chris Paul is going to try to outthink us. He's going to try to pick us apart. He's going to try to mid-range jump shoot us to death, pick and roll us to death. We just got to put the best possible defensive players on him and uh, take the temperature. And, again, Damian Lee, some 
Damian Lee is somebody that I truly, genuinely think could go off for 30 points tonight. And I expect it. If he doesn't have a big game, I will be surprised. And so it's just one of those type of situations where it's all lined up for him to shoot a lot tonight. Uh, Dario Saric, too. Somebody that you you can forget can light you up. I don't know where his conditioning is right now, but his minutes should be as high as they've been in, since he left Philly tonight. Because they only got seven people in rotation. He's one of the more talented ones of them. Uh, Bismack Biombo is going to rebound the ball. He's going to try to block shots. But to me, looking at the eye test, it looks like he's not as... He's not in the same shape he's always been in. I don't know if that's just me looking at him a certain way. His feet meeting father time or something. Maybe it's nothing. But I remember seeing him in Charlotte and some of these other situations. Even last year when he first got to Phoenix, he looked like he was in much more better conditioning as opposed to this year. Even though he's running around, he's still doing his thing. He just he looks like he's in a different space conditioning-wise. So I'd expect Thomas Bryant and those guys to uh, take the temperature on that and see if I'm making any sense in regards to that. Maybe not. Uh, but but nevertheless, we need to try to bring athleticism to this team. I like the idea of guys playing to their strengths. Damian Jones, he's an above-the-rim guy. You get him the ball above the rim, and he can catch lobs like the best of them. He can't do whole, a whole lot more than that, which is why it's important to put him on the floor and then run plays for him to do that pick-and-roll, catch lobs at good angles. Some of the angles we were asking him to catch lobs last night were pretty good, but I think there were a few... Nah, we couldn't get the ball to him in those situations. So we got to continue to be smart and be, be careful uh, not to turn the ball over in those situations, but to make sure we get him the ball uh, above the rim so he can catch it and be his best self. Don't have him shoot no more threes. I saw that last night and forgot to mention it. They had him out there jacking up a three-point shot. Dad, no, he's not Thomas Bryant. Just because we can create that shot does not mean it's a shot we want to take, Russell. No, no, absolutely not. We want to run quality possessions, and we don't need our center who doesn't shoot threes shooting threes. Absolutely not. So, and for him, he's going to have to pass that shot up. Don't take that shot, bro. Pass that up. So, these are the type of things I'm looking at. Of course, we've mentioned Troy, uh, Troy Brown, and now we need him to pass the rock. Not pass the rock, but shoot the rock. We want him to be score score first and, and look to uh, be aggressive while AD is out. I think he's done a fantastic job of pulling back, uh, not shooting his team out of games, playing good defense with his minutes. He's not the most uh, a capable athlete. But I think he's played a smart feel game, knowing that he's not overly talented and because of it playing smart and not doing things that hurt, uh, which is a very good thing when you talk about attributes. Sometimes guys are really, really limited, but they don't know it. So they go out there and think they can do too much and then them shooting their team out the game. It's like, no, having the self-awareness to be of service to your team by doing just as much as you need to and not too much is a good thing. Where he's going to have to get better is finding out what that is. Um, Max Christie got the better idea, in my opinion, because he tries to gobble up boards every time he hits the floor. It's something we talk about each and every time we mention Max. I think that should be a recipe for uh, Troy as well. He has length. Uh, he's not as athletic as Max, but he has the ability to do some of the same things in regards to hunting rebounds and being intent on being progressive, productive in that way. I think once you do that, you open up opportunities to get more minutes, and we're seeing Max pull that off. So, of course, that's where it's at. It's some young young guys tonight, Max, Lonnie, uh, Doug, uh, you know, all of these guys. I want to see them. Uh, Thomas Bryant. It's a night when they get a chance to play on the road, shoot the ball a lot, and see if their game could travel on the road. And that's one of the things that I've been talking about in regards to this team. Not everybody's game has traveled. Lonnie Walker's game has not traveled very much. And this road trip wasn't his best that we came off of last week. So uh, with him having a fantastic game last night, it ain't but been but 24 hours. I expect him to continue sh shooting the same way he shot when the floor was purple and gold, when the floor is orange and purple as well. Um, shouldn't be no different. <clears throat> so that's what I'm looking to see, man. This is a big opportunity for us to steal a real win against a team that we may have to match up against in the playoffs sometime. If we're lucky enough to make the playoffs, I'd imagine Phoenix would be there. This is the type of game you would have wished you beat them when they didn't have Tevin Booker and when they didn't have everybody on their, their roster. So just because we're running out there without some of our key playmakers does not mean that we get to step away from our tendencies. We've got to shoot the ball smart. we got to look to score on the interior. We've got to look to rebound the ball. we got to look to get in transition, playing both transition defense and get out in transition ourselves for easy buckets. All of these things are very important. If the Lakers don't take, play attention to those things with the same intent as when the stars are there, they're going to have the same results. Got to win. That's what it's about. We don't care who's on the floor. We're in a hole. 
you know, our record is 12 and 15 or something like that, we still have games to win. I don't care who's uniform, uh, who's, who's laced up. If it's AD, Brown, whoever, we just need to continue to keep our foot on the gas and to know this. The rest of the league is pretty much in the same boat as us. This is not a normal season. Just because AD's out for a month and it looks like we could fall in the standings does not actually mean that if you look to the left of you and to the right of you, teams are doing that much better than you. They just happen to not be. You got a whole league full of teams that really aren't that put together right now because of the summertime locked up market where teams couldn't make trades. Those trades still haven't been made. We're not the only broken team in the NBA. So with that being said, we just need to continue to work on our progressions, continue to work on individual players and coaching these in, these tendencies that don't work for us away from us. And if AD happens to be there in the end, great, we can lean on him. If And Bron, great. If not, we keep pushing forward because the rest of these teams are just as unstable as us or even worse in some cases in the Western Conference. They're really not doing that much better. So it's not like we're in as big of a hole as we normally would be in most seasons. This is the one season where you could go through all this that we're going through and still have the sixth seed in the end because of how crappy everybody else is. So that is the reality of our circumstance, and we need to know that while we struggle. Keep trying to win. Some of these teams can't beat you even when you're like this because of how their troubles are right now. So that's the truth. That's why we beat Washington. That's why we beat Denver. And that's why I think we can beat the Suns tonight. So I encourage the Lakers to not worry about who's on the floor. It's about our game plan. Our game plan is smarter than a lot of teams. We're more careful than a lot of teams. We shoot the ball more carefully. And we need to take care of the ball as well. And if we do those things, our pros are, 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 are scrappy dudes. We got athletes out there even when our full team ain't out there. So uh, this is a, a team just as hobbled as us. And I think we can attack them just the same. So that's what I got to say, man. BDL 44. I thank you all for watching. I'm out.